Wow, look at those guys go. You know, I wonder what the average velocity of a swinging earbud is. Hmm. Well, you know, an object moves a simple harmonic motion whenever its acceleration is proportional to its position and oppositely directed to the displacement from equilibrium. Really? So to find the speed of the system, we want to look at the diagram basically and see that we have a length L and angle theta and that means that the horizontal distance that it travels is L sine theta. Since we have two of those, the change in distance is 2L sine theta, and since there's two periods technically, we have the change in time is the period over two. The period we know is two pi times the square root of L over G, and the change of time therefore would be pi times the square root of L over G. Therefore, when you put everything together, you get the change in distance over the change of time equals 2L sine theta times pi times the square root of L over G. So like my friend Jack explained earlier, using this equation and the fact that um, L, the uh, length of a standard earbud cord from Apple is about 0.3 meters and that angle theta is about 60 degrees and G equals 9.8 meters per second squared. We can just plug and check from there. Um, 2 times 0.3 meters times sine theta, 60 degrees, over pi times the square root of 0.3 meters over 9.8 meters per second. Um, after the calculations, you should arrive at this solution, where V equals 0.945 meters per second.